Yes, my name is Bench, and in this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can use Rails and Logic to build ourselves a sort of pressurization airlock. Nice and simple, with some pretty lights to indicate a bit of delay as we pressurize for the room we're heading into. So we'll kick it off by grabbing a, a Logic button, and we'll put it on both sides, and that'll be for our entrance. And then we'll put one in the middle, in the actual area, and that'll trigger our changing of airlock. So now we've got them set up, which is really good. What we can do now is we're going to build ourselves a rail. And the rail will control what actually happens. We can build it on top here. And you can see we'll place down five, like so. We'll then go and place a... Um, activation module next to each like that and we will um, be able to build ourselves a toggle now the toggle will be between the two different uh, sides that we can go to uh, where's my rails <laughs> it'll help if I can find them there we go so we've got one which will send us one way like so, one which will send us the other way. And let's grab ourselves a, just a white light so we can actually see what we're doing. Like so, there we go. Let there be light. So we'll drop a button next to each and we'll hook them both up to the rail, like so. You can see here we can toggle nice and easy. Next, what we'll do is we'll click create doc in our advanced build and we're going to just drop ourselves a um, new uh, entity that will sit on our rail and this will be what actually triggers our blocks. Next we'll grab each of these activation modules and we'll hook it up to one of our lights. So you can see there's a the green light, we'll go to purple light, purple light, purple light. green light and what we can also do is on the other side place ourselves oh, a button let's not accidentally have it selected and there we go then we will select ourselves a T flip-flop and the T flip-flop will control our doors so we should put one on either side Actually, no, we don't even need it. What we can do is um, just add a, a knot onto each of these activations here. And this one will be for this door. This one will be for this door. And then all we need to do is hook these up to those there and there. And then we just need to hook up our one in the middle. And the one in the middle is going to toggle between the two. So how do we toggle between the two? Well, we need to know which one we're on. And for that, we will use an AND gate. So we'll chuck an AND gate on both. We'll take that activation module, put it into the middle. Take that activation module, put it into the middle. We'll take our button and put it into both of those. So when I toggle this and that one's active, we want that one to go. When we toggle this, that one we want to go. Now we'll grab ourselves a rail speed controller because we don't want this to be too quick. Otherwise it loses the illusion of pressurization. So we'll just add a couple of activation modules here and we could go a quarter. And we'll just try that out. So if we go onto this side, we can uh, no, we'll push the one in the middle. So we push the button and you'll see it closes. You can see it moves along and opens the other one. And one thing we can do, do, do is actually add a delay onto these knot gates to kind of delay it opening, I guess. Ah, uh, no, we'll leave it. Might change a good thing. Now the good thing about this setup is that it means that if the door's already open on this side, nothing's gonna change. But if we're on the other side and push the button, you'll see it slowly moves. 
like so. Now we can add in other cool little features if we like, such as the ability to actually make it flash or make a flashing light rather. We do that by creating a T flip flop that goes into a AND gate that goes into a delay that goes into a knot and the knot goes into the AND gate. If we just toggle the delay it's all set up. Now this setup allows us to essentially make all kinds of different things that change. So you'll see uh, we have our activation module there so we can toggle that one in, we can toggle that one in and they'll both toggle and then we can grab our AND gate here and we'll just add an amber light to both sides so that people know hey you should wait because it's moving and we'll just toggle them off for now and there we go so if we go onto the side that it isn't and we push the button things start moving light flashes you know and we're there now what we also need to do is put these activation modules in as well otherwise it won't stop flashing so we'll push on this side again light starts flashing get to the other side and light stops flashing if I push it again nothing's going to happen I jump in the middle you'll see it starts moving along pressure 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 and there we go we're out on the other side no more flashing and there we have it so it's nice and simple easy to build using a rail you can make it as quick or as long as you want if we turn it up really fast you'll see we push the button there we go super quick or we can make it slow like what we had it where it changes pressure moves along and there we go so a nice easy airlock with pressurization that you can control to kind of give a bit more of an RP feel to your builds. Until next time, my name is Bench and thanks for watching.